France. Lieutenant Fuentes here. Glad to read you. We thought your mission had failed. What did you find? Excellent work, Julie. You are awesome. We've been searching for an advantage from Skynet for a long time. Have your HQ encrypt and relay the data to us.
completely terminated. But fortunately, you are still alive. It's too risky. You don't have a secure connection anymore. If you do this, Skynet will spot you. Okay, I'm receiving. Maybe we can complete the transfer before Skynet spots you. Tell me, Julie, I don't understand. How do Terminators infiltrate your HQ? Endoskeletons are easy to spot, and even the ones with rubber skin. How did Skynet fool you? Those with rubber skin? That explains why some of us were kept alive, for the experiments. If you are right, Terminators will be very hard to spot. I'll keep Connor informed. All? You are awesome. We will be able to storm the wire of the camps. That's Connor's dream. Connor has had Sergeant Wynn working on this for years, and now I understand why. It's on Skynet's mind. Bad for us. Connor knows strange things about this one. Where is Skynet? Okay, it's doable. We can get you out. Have you activated the C4? Okay, so be ready to move the moment the transfer is completed. Then explode those metal motherfuckers into junk!
how many units? Where is Skynet now? One kilometer? The transfer is not complete. Skynet will spot you first. You won't make it if you stay. Nine percent. Did the explosion slow them? The transfer is complete. Julie, go. It's okay. What? Dad, Julie, I'm so sorry. 
I'm so sorry. Alex Alcana, he will be very proud of you. Give the data to Connor. It was from that day on, we held our heads high and stood up to Skynet. I put my tech calm on analysis of the data hacked by Julie, with priority given to plasma rifle technology, so that we could build our own and fight on equal terms with the machines. With the help of the locations of concentration camps, I was finally able to achieve something that I'd longed to do. to storm the wire of the camps and bring our prisoners back from the brink. Among them, a young man named Kyle Reese, my father. He then served in the 132nd under Perry from 21 to 27 to be reassigned to my unit. Finally, I assigned Sergeant Wynn to supervise the Chrono Team and work on data hacked by Julie about time travel. We were now ready to move to Los Angeles. 
the Demon's Lair, where we started to observe how to take back territory from Skynet. Then, fate knocked on the door again. During an ambush, I found myself beside Kyle. Thinking we were about to die, I impulsively gave the original Polaroid. I immediately saw, in his eyes, his true love for my mother. Thanks to Julie, we knew the weaknesses of the T-700s. So, Skynet immediately counterattacked by developing a new model of Terminator. The T-800. The worst. After years of research on human physiology, Skynet started its first experiments on human prisoners. Endoskeletons were ready to be sent in automated factories to be surrounded by living tissue. this, we started to win more and more battles. In desperation, Skynet built the time displacement equipment and an advanced Terminator prototype, the T-1000. There was no time to lose. I had to lead the worldwide final attack against Skynet. Feeling its imminent defeat, Skynet sent a T-800 back to 1984 and the T-1000 back to 1995. My second unit destroyed Skynet's core. While in LA, we reached the time displacement equipment. The price of victory was too high. A profound sadness overwhelmed me, looking at my father's fate, a fate I've never truly accepted. What gave me the strength to send my father into the past was not to be born, but to give him the opportunity to meet the true love of his life and tell her how much he loved her. But it still wasn't over. I had to muster my courage. Accompanied by Sergeant Wynne, I found another familiar paternal figure. We reprogrammed it only to protect me from the T-1000. A young boy will teach him the value of human life. It was time to blow this whole place up. And time for mourning.